So welcome back to the kitchen guys. Um, I'm sharing with you today my, I'm going to say my my most unique and favorite uh, kitchen device. And why I like it so much, it's it's very convenient, It's very, it, it cuts uh, things, you know, it cuts the cooking time uh, really way down on a lot of things. But the, the device itself is right here, I have it already, there's the, like a side view of it. It's called the Range Mate, okay? Range Mate. Now, I first seen this on Q, uh, I first seen this on QVC, okay? So, as I've uh, mentioned before, I am a QVC shopper. So let me uh, adjust the tripod, and we're gonna take a a deeper dive look into this thing, and we're and I'm actually gonna uh, show it in action. So let's get to it. Okay, so we got the tripod set up here, and so yeah, this is the range mate. It's basically it's for uh, this you use this device in your microwave. Okay, so what all can you do with it? You may ask. Well, you can uh, fry burgers, even a steak. So yes, you can do cook a steak in the microwave, and it will be grilled. That's the beauty of it. It is you get your stuff. It's like grilling in the microwave. So I know that's like sounds like a radical uh, statement and idea, but and I was a little skeptical at first myself, but it does work. So here's like the lid, you know, and and also you can steam vegetables, which is another nice thing. But here's the here's the lid. Okay, it's like a dome lid. Um, here's a couple inserts. So yeah, these are for like um, you know making muffins or cupcakes, and I've. So yes, I've made blueberry muffins <laughs> in the microwave, right? Homemade blueberry muffins. So that's that's the, the the muffin insert. And then here's your little like steaming steaming rack to put. Um, you can either put fresh or frozen vegetables in there, right? So how it works is, and then there's the there's the grill. See those ridges there? Let's get a. Now that's got some wear on it because I've had this for a while. That's a grill, like. But if you're going to steam your vegetables, you'd put your water down in there, okay? Then then you set this, set that on there, put your vegetables in there. That way they're raised, you know, they're raised above the water. And then microwave it for like six, seven minutes. Bam, you got steamed vegetables. Uh, so yeah really nice um, but yeah I'm gonna be grilling some chicken today I got some southwest style seasoned chicken here so it's already pre-seasoned it's got like some kind of sauce on it so yeah we're gonna be doing that today um, so all you gotta do is you do have to preheat it, right? So to preheat it, you got to put the lid on it. You never, you never use it with the lid off of it in the microwave. Okay. So yeah, basically you preheat it for about two, two and a half minutes. That way it, it like gets the, you know, gets that grill heated up, and then that way when you put it on there, that's going to get you a sear on it. So let's let's do this. Okay, so we're just going to throw this bad boy in the microwave here. Two minutes and let's go 44 seconds. So once that is uh, done, I will pull it out of the microwave and we'll throw that chicken on there. There's the magic jingle of the microwave. So this, and we'll make it over there to the prep area. You can see. Let's see if we can have a steam right here. 
Ooh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen, but I got some steam out of there already. Okay, so here we go. There it is, fresh out of the microwave. I do have some gloves on if you guys don't have any at home. Um, like when you're dealing with raw chicken, it's a good idea to, to have gloves like these. They, they don't cost that much. I think you can get them at the dollar store. But, so yeah, um, sometimes it's just easier to use your hands, but you don't want to get all that mess all over yourself. It's, but sometimes it's easier to use your hands than to, and you can handle it better than you could say, you know, like with a pair of tongs or whatever. So let's let's get this chicken in there. This is this is a serious piece of chicken here. Ooh. Can you guys hear that? Take my glove off here a second. Can you hear that sizzling? So, we're going to put the lid on it. And then it goes back in the microwave. Alright. Let's go with... Uh, Two minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah, I do some odd times. I don't always like do exact like two minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, a lot of times I just do yeah like the 233, 244. Um, yeah, I guess you could call it one of my quirks, right? <laughs> so that's going to do its thing. And then at the end of that uh, two minutes and 33 seconds, we'll pop it out. Then we have to flip the chicken, you know, so we get got to cook on both sides and then uh, basically repeat the process got my tongs here ready Re I would recommend some uh, these type where they're not going to scrape scrape that um, you know the, like the metal kind so these, this is like a rubber so let's get it out of here so Ooh, look at that, huh? So I'm gonna flip this piece of chicken here. That way, and that, you guys can see that. Got some grill on there. Got some grill marks on it. So, all right, back in the microwave. Another two minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> and then after that, when that when that's done, so you got to cook both sides, especially with chicken. You want to make sure you cook it very thoroughly. We don't know. We want no pink, all right. And if you're not experienced in cooking chicken like this, uh, I'm going to show you when I when this comes out. But you, you can get sick if you don't, you know, if it's not thoroughly cooked all the way. And you can even get like a thermometer. Uh, I would I would recommend that if you you know just to be sure because it has to reach a certain temperature inside. But you also want to make sure there's no like because it can look done on the outside, but in inside where uh, in the middle it can still be raw if you don't cook it long enough. All right, so it's very important, or else you can get sick, and we don't want that. Okay, so the chicken is about ready to get out of there. Alright, so let's uh, take this over to the prep area and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so let's take this lid off. Set it on the cutting board like so. Now, 
this has you know a lot of that juice left in there so if you want to you know keep that juice you know you could even like dip dip your chicken in it like pour this in a little um I'll give you an idea I got something right here on mine this is a yeah a little cute little thing I got these little bowls here this is a Mine and yours. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a matching set there. So yeah, you can um, see, make sure it's in view. Just pour that juice in there. And depending on what you're going to do with this chicken, um, I'm going to stick. I'm going to uh, you know steam. I'm going to steam some vegetables. I think some broccoli and cauliflower. And, um, you know, probably I'll cut this chicken up and, you know, mix it all together. Probably pour that juice over it. So, anyways, let's get into this chicken here. I want to make sure you guys can see this. So, very important, once you get that chicken out of the microwave, um, you want to, like I said, you want to make sure it's done, cooked thoroughly. Um, so here's how you can you just cut it in half right down the middle and then there you go there's your you can see it's fully done alright and that's good to go um, also uh, as a um, if you want to take extra precaution you know you're welcome to um, get a thermometer and check the temperature because if it reaches a certain temperature then it's uh, safe safe to eat so you can use that thermometer for chicken or for burgers whatever or steak whatever you know whatever you're cooking any kind of meat there so let's uh let's dive into this cut me off a piece yeah we're gonna just try it I need a fork Yeah, so we got that. Let's zoom back out. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> let's let's dip it in that juice. That that juice that's got that's gonna have a lot of flavor in it. Let's taste it out. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know that's an outdated dance move, but oh well. Nice. That is like perfecto, right? So yeah, get some vegetables, some broccoli, some cauliflower. I'm going to cut this up, and I'm going to probably pour that over it, put it in a bowl. And it's like magnifico. If that's how you say it, that's going to be a, a good time. You could also put some maybe some rice in it. Um, you know, steam a little bit of rice. Like I said, I try to watch the carbs sometimes, or I'm, I'm trying to, because um, you know, trying to lose weight, it's not easy. And it, carb seems to be my kryptonite. Uh, so, but yeah, if you're, uh, but yeah, throw maybe do a little bit of rice if you're go um, just 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 so you know, like brown rice. Uh, is the healthier version versus uh, the, the white rice so yeah just uh, throwing that out there I, I do get the, uh, the the brown rice when I do have it so yeah what do you think I know that's uh, a lot about the, the food itself but yeah here's th really what the video was about this with this cool device this range mate just wanted to show you what you can do with it but yeah chicken burgers steak you know, um, like I said, I will steam vegetables in, in this, or either raw or frozen. I've even done muffins in it. Uh, yeah, so it's like very versatile, and, and especially to, to get that kind. And like I said, that 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 is good chicken, right? That is that was very well tasting. Um, coming out of the microwave. Now, if you um, have cooked, you know, like. Really, the microwave wasn't designed to 
really be cooked in. To me, it was always more of heating something up that's already been cooked, right? Just kind of heating it up, getting you know you don't you don't want to eat it cold, something cold. Uh, yeah. So to get this kind of food, right, where it's like you're cooking it, and it's as good as it is, it's enjoyable. It doesn't taste like microwave food. Yeah, my uh, literally, right. My my hat's off to you. <laughs> so, I would very uh, highly recommend getting this um, this range mate if you can find it. Okay, so we're gonna. Pop this microwave open. Gosh damn it. Uh. <laughs> oh shit.